In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a pre-warm antibody screen. For that, you're going to need a patient plasma, um, some tubes. You're going to need your screen cells 1, 2, and 3. Then you're also going to need a timer that's set up for 15 minutes and 30 minutes. You're also going to need some saline that is um, warm to 37 degrees Celsius. This is usually done in the FFP water bath or by some other means if necessary. You also need some uh, AHG and you'll need some check cells. And last but not least, you'll need an incubator that is at 37 degrees Celsius. So the first step is going to be taking your tubes and labeling them, uh, one, two, and three, and then the patient's name. And then go ahead and you add one drop of each one of the screen cells to their corresponding tube. So it's just one drop to each one of the tubes. And then after all the tubes or um, reagents are added, then you're going to go ahead to your incubator and you're going to put all three of the screen cells into the incubator. And then you're also going to do the same with the patient's plasma. And note you haven't, at this point, mixed patient specimen with reagent red cells. And then you're going to set a timer for 15 minutes. Now, after your 15 minutes is up, at this point you're going to go ahead and you're going to add two drops of the heated patient plasma to each one of the um, screen cell tubes. And then after you add this, you want to go ahead and try and mix it as best you can. And because we're not adding any enhancement to these tubes, we're going to have to let it incubate for 30 minutes. After the 30 minute incubation is complete, at this point we're going to have to manually wash our red cells um, with the uh, heated uh, physiological saline. And you're going to do this three to four times depending on what your policy is. And um, typically you want to spin it for about 55 seconds in the centrifuge. Um, now after you're done centrifuging, um, you're going to go ahead and you um, decant the saline and then you can dab off any excess saline on some lint-free gauze and then like I said you're going to do this process uh, three to four times and um, just make sure that you uh, fill them up with enough saline and then it's also really important to make sure that you resuspend all of the cells um, you don't want to leave them in the button like that uh, because they won't be proper, properly washed. And um, it is extremely important to make sure you wash these cells well. Um, you do not want to get to the very end of this and add your check cells and then have it come up as a zero agglutination and you have to redo everything. So after you've done your three to four washes and your final decant, you're going to go ahead and you're going to add two drops of the AHG to each one of your screen cell tubes. And then you're just going to head and you're going to centrifuge it for the normal amount of time that you would. Um, usually it's 20 seconds, but it might differ depending on the centrifuge you're using. Um, and then just go ahead and resuspend your cell buttons. And you just want to make sure that you resuspend them completely. And then once you've done that, you can move on to the last step, which is to add your check cells. And it's just one drop of check cell to each one of the tubes. And then once again, you're going to go ahead and mix it. And then centrifuge it for uh, 20 seconds or whatever your facility uses. And then finally, um, this is you know, the final moment here. Um, hopefully you'll get an agglutination. And that means that everything has gone well. You can see there are some um, agglutination there. Um, and just resuspend it. The cell button. You don't want to shake too violently because you don't want to break up the agglutination completely. Um, and there you go. That's basically all there is to it. Um, 
like I said, just make sure that you wash yourselves really well. Thank you for watching.